Ferrari looked at C in the Hungarian Grand Prix weekend, as the low-speed, high-downforce characteristics of the tight and technical Hungarian circuit was at odds with the SF90's greater strengths at the quicker circuits. Still, it wasn't for the lack of trying. Ferrari made a number of changes to its barge boards to lessen the deficit to Mercedes. Firstly, the small set of vertical vanes at the leading edge of the barge board had now been changed, swapping out the mini barge boards at the front for a more aggressive design, picking up airflow from the front wing. The turning vane next to the side pod has also been redefined, featuring a slot in the front element to work with modified barge boards. But the biggest change to Ferrari's geometry is the double boomerang, which fits onto the top edge of the barge board. The purpose seems to be take airflow emanating from the front of the car and direct it downwards, allowing it to slot into the undercut around the bottom face of the side pods. Boomerangs have been a frequent addition to the barge board packages of this year's grid, and Ferrari becomes the latest team to join in with this particular trend. Last season, the boomerang wing was seen as early as Melbourne, appearing on the Red Bull RB14, while a similar design was also seen on the Mercedes W09. But unlike the Red Bull design, it didn't quite connect to the turning vanes. As the barge boards were brought lower for 2019, the boomerang has come back for the new season with greater popularity. Both Red Bull and McLaren began the season with it, and with each passing round, more and more teams have included the device. Mercedes extended the downwash elements on its original specification of barge boards to increase that effect, while Racing Point's design has a short cord to quickly turn airflow downwards. Williams has taken a similar leaf from the Racing Point book, while Haas and Toro Rosso also added a debut to their own adaptations in Germany. Ferrari's design, like Mercedes, doesn't attach to the turning vane, generating tip vortices at the ends. These roll up and pass around the lower side pod area with more energy, assisting the flow to the rear of the car. As barge boards continue to develop at an irrepressible rate, it'll be interesting to see how future evolutions look as the season goes on. We've had boomerangs, what's next? <laughs>